Okay. We're live on Facebook Live and we're live on IGTV, mm -hmm. Instagram, and we're live with Suzanne Summers. Yay! Wow, you, you got to me right away today. Yeah, I saved it. I'm yeah. saving it for the show. Are you still hacked on Instagram, Caroline? I am. But oh. now they're on top of it. It should be handled soon. When you read things about the new thing, the new uh, uh, cars and things that Caroline's buying, that's somebody hacking Caroline. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, you know me and my piles of money. Just, yeah. Just the kind of content I put out on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> well, war. I finally got, I finally got to, in touch with the people today, and it, it sounds like they're undoing it. So just, you don't have to do anything. Just don't respond to any DMs. You're not in danger unless you. Um, unless you interact with hackers, so with the other Caroline oh, Summers, yeah. with the other Caroline Summers, um, they were talking. I think were they talking about crypto and Bitcoin? Yes. I read today. Warren Buffett said um, he, you couldn't give me all the the Bitcoin and crypto in the world, even if it only cost me twenty five dollars. And I thought, okay, well, he's usually ahead of the curve, so we'll see. <laughs> We'll see. Yes, these are the heroes of social media, but we we will we will survive. Okay. Well, he's usually yes. ahead of the Who's that? It was you echoing. In oh, my oh. Mother. Well, anyway, <laughs> it's, it's Suzanne Selects Day, and you get your surprise in the mail, which I know makes you happy, and. Um, it all began because, I'm going to tell you a story, those of you who have been with me a while might have heard before, but when in the 70s, there were no, there were, well, there were no cell phones, and we weren't online, and you couldn't order things, and you had to go to a store, imagine that, had to go to a store to buy things, and um, I remember a catalog came to us from Tiffany and Company. It was that Tiffany blue, the color of our nail polish that's called pool. And I thought, what? You can like order this and they'll send it to you. So I ordered a useless silver pen because most of their gifts there are kind of useless. And they sent me the silver pen. And when I got home from work, there was a present for me. And I know I paid for it, but it was a present for me. And what fun. And then I got hooked on ordering stuff from Tiffany's that I didn't need. So we decided to do it here with Suzanne Selects. But once a month, we send you, <coughs> Caroline's washing her dishes right now. Once a, Sorry, the the door. Oh, once a month, um, we send you the Suzanne Selects box. It's a surprise. Yes, you pay for it, but it's, um, I don't know, how, what is the price of this today? Alan, do you have your? I do. Okay, Alan. The will tell retail you. value is is one thirty nine ninety six. One thirty nine. And for the how much? Price is forty nine ninety nine, which is sixty four percent off. That's a lot. That's and a lot. And the reason we do this, okay, <laughs> pardon me, is is because we want you to try full size products. Once you get into it, and you will, it's all organic, and they're beautiful products, yeah. and they're good for you. And once you get into it, you're going to come back, and you're going to order more. And that's why we do it. And sometimes we actually lose money doing it this way, but we want to make sure you get the products. Mm -hmm. We're a small little store, family-owned store, and we're uh, Benny and Bella. We're what? Benny and oh, Bella. Oh, Benny and Bella. That's his uh, aunt uncle. and uncle who owned, what was the name of their store? The Daily Bargain the Store. The Daily Bargain Store. <laughs> it was in the middle of a working class section of Toronto. Yeah. And uh, Maybe some of you know the Daily the Daily Bargain Store. Yeah. Is it still there? Well, the, probably the building is there. But not the store? Did, did anybody inherit it? Is there anybody left no, in that you know, when No, when both Benny and Bella passed, mm -hmm. then uh, Victor, the son, uh, put everything on sale. And a woman who was a wardrobe person at the oh. TV network oh. bought oh. mostly everything. Oh, I understand. Because there were things there from the 30s and yeah. 40s that you just couldn't buy that was yeah. priceless. 
Yeah, it was fascinating to go through right. all their stuff. He yeah. was a great guy. Yeah. He made uh, this cherry brandy every year. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was it was designed to get you, get you high and also give you a headache at the same time. <laughs> probably had a lot of sugar in it. Uh, probably a lot of sugar. That's what, um, I took, I you know, took, mixed drinks that have sugar in them, one is fine. But if you have two or three, you're going to have a headache. You're going to wake up sweaty and not feeling good at three in the morning. That's why I never, ever drink mixed drinks. And one of the reasons, let's, and by the way, let's give a toast, Alan. Okay. Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning Here to you. Here we go. And to all of you. I took Bruce and Stephen over to Uncle Benny's place with my dad. And my dad, Uncle Benny, Bruce, and Stephen and myself sat in their little kitchen in the and back of the store. And we got shit-faced. <laughs> You got our sons shit faced. They yeah. were only like what, thirteen, fourteen? Um, let's see. They were no, they were probably fifteen. Probably that's 15. so great, Al. Yeah, that's a, you know what it was ceremonial. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And they were with I mean, us. It's better to uh, have your children drink with you. I would su right. surmise. Can I see my USO hat? Pardon me. That red USO hat. Yeah. I love that hat. Don't give this hat away. He gives hats away. One of my great thrills of my life, there's no button thing, so I can't put it on, was uh, doing shows for the USO. And this is my, this is not a MAGA hat, this is a USO hat. Here you go, Al. I was going to wear it, but the button thing is missing on the back oh. thingy. I don't know. But put it over that brain, because that's what I had it there for. Now I realize. Leslie Gates. <laughs> Yeah, I know. You look like the Star Spangled Banner. I know. You know me. I'm Miss America. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I was talking to an old man in front of the hotel we were staying in in Malibu this weekend. And um, so I'm friendly. Where are you from? I'm from Bulgaria. And uh, he had escaped communism and came here. And... Um, I said, America's the greatest idea there ever was. And he almost started to cry. He said, you have no idea. <laughs> so we're so lucky to live here in freedom and, and appreciate it. It's important to appreciate it. Think of, I was just, I'm a news junkie, and I was just looking at the news, and they're bombing Mary Paul again, and people crawling out of caves. And look, look I, I feel guilty. I mean, look. So, and wherever you are in the safety Nah, I'll try it. All right, but I don't think. Uh, That's exactly what I was thinking when I was starting to get irritated about getting hacked. I'm like, these are not problems. Not problems. No, no. I just was worried that other people were going to get affected, but it doesn't seem like people are having issues. People are too smart to fall for that. Look how cute you are. Yeah. That hat looks good on you. God bless America. You love me in hats. I do. I think you should bring hats back. He likes the costume, that Al. Yeah, yep. he does. He does. Is the right girl? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I haven't worn on the show is my top hat. I love my top hat. Um, uh, with the net. The Fascinator hat. I love that. I'm not in the mood to wear this hat. Until I play with my thigh master. Because it matches the thigh master perfect. That's true. Look yeah. at that. So I did, uh, I had... Uh, Is your video still on? Yeah, we had, it, it uh, both lost connection for about three seconds. Okay. Mine, mine just... We had the most lovely weekend. On uh, Friday night, we had dinner at Courtney Cox's house, and she cooked for us uh, with some lovely friends, and... Um, it was a great night, wasn't it, Al? Yeah. And then the next night, we went to the Soho house in Malibu, and we had a, a couch table all to ourselves right at the ocean's edge. It was a great night. And then the next night, we had a big family party with all our kids and dancing, and Bruce and Caroline were there, and Camille and Violet, and Violet's boyfriend, and Daisy, and Daisy's boyfriend, who I loved, and I love all the boyfriends. So... We're just coming down from having so much fun. That's what life should be. Come show them how cute you look today. Wow. You're so trim. 
I gain weight and he loses weight. Well, I live with Dr. Summers. Yeah, but why is Dr. Summers can't lose these five pounds? But They're, perhaps, perhaps you've been cheating. I haven't. Been cheating? Hey, you guys, after, after Suzanne shows us how cute Alan is, she will get to the products. I know a lot. Of, a lot oh, that. Of oh, the <laughs> Did I miss it? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that. Oh, what is that? Well, that's a scrunchie to oh, for your ponytail. Oh. You know, to put around your ponytail. Oh, I wish I'd had that when I had my ponytail. Yeah. Well. Uh, you don't have your ponytail, no, and you look cute without it. No. Your I hair could, looks good. I could grow one. It's so cute. It's so I cute. This every morning and every night. Yeah. And when I go work out. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. And and uh, when I wear braids, I like them. Me too. All right, let me go through what's in the box. So, okay. Not to get rid of you or anything, but you'll come back, won't you? All you have to do is yank the chain. I'll be okay. there. Okay. All right. Well. Oh, they're noticing that you shaved, Alan. Yeah. What's that? They're noticing that you shaved. You know what? It, shaved. Yeah. It looks better. It looks better. Yeah, I did shave. do you think? Because every time I'd get near Suzanne, she'd say, It's scratchy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so you, scratchy. So you did me. it for me? Oh, it's so sweet. Absolutely. But honestly, I think it looks better. When did you just do it? Yeah, like before the show. Oh, I. Well, I, when you walked out, I thought, Gee, he looks great. So I bet that's it. Age of Serum. Age of Serum is... Um, I actually put on the... Um, uh, what is it called? The... Um, the it's a... Um, uh, I can't remember what it's called. But uh -huh. it, it makes your skin... It moisturizes your oh, skin. Oh, liquid oxygen. No, it wasn't liquid oxygen. Uh, Bioactive... Yeah, bio... What is it? Bioactive moisturizing? Right, that's okay. what I put on. <laughs> you know what I've been doing? I've been using this Age of Serum. I'm starting to get wrinkles up here Ew. and every time I look down I go oh ugh. I when I finish my face mask in the morning which I use this um, and we don't sell that anymore and I wish I wish we did we will we will no no we will we just can't talk about it right now yeah right. but I use when this ready, I'll let you know. whatever's left over in my little dish in my face mask I take and I put on my arms you know what the wrinkles are really starting to go away that's me. I'm not making any claims. I'm just saying it does. Anyway, this is an incredible peptide. Um, and uh, I remember I used to use this very expensive cream. And when we first started working with their formulator, I, and it was $150 a jar. But that's when I first started doing television. I thought I could afford $150 a jar. And um, it has African birch and sea algae in it. Now, sea algae we get from purified waters and um, peptides are the buzzword in wrinkles. It's, it's the thing. And the African birch in here was used as medicine in Africa for centuries. So you got a lot going on here. So that's in your box. So now, so far we've got our... This is, this is Suzanne's most marquee product, I have to say, of your entire skin. Yeah, I guess line. it is. This serum targets um, aging and wrinkles. It is amazing for rejuvenating your skin it brings the bounce back to your skin and try it for 28 days that's why you're getting it free in the box if you don't already use it, it this one item will convert you into Suzanne's whole line it, it really is that good um, the reason she mentions 28 days it takes 28 days for complete cell turnover and um, so if you start using this then we when we were on the shopping channel we would have a model who we'd have her do this and don't use your other products for one month, just use our products. And um, they all wax poetic about it when they were not on the air. And then I said, now at the end of 28 days, go back on your other stuff. Well, they put it on and their skin was like it's on fire. It was irritating it so much because all the chemicals in it. No chemicals. I can't even stress how important it is to avoid chemicals in life today from here at this time going forward it's so important you know if it's uh, 28 days <clears throat> then women under 75 should from time the, it to get when they're period period to period right? yeah great That's and great. you know we could have arranged to have it delivered the day before their period okay and, <laughs> And I think it makes them very yeah. happy. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But only for women under 75. Yeah. After 75, I don't know. This we'll send you flowers. <laughs> I'm well, 75. Suzanne's 
still gives you a courtesy laugh. Okay, <laughs> when you tell that joke. Uh, Somehow she's saying, you really did marry the right woman. I did. She oh, wears yeah. costumes and she laughs in your really bad humor. Oh, yeah. And, and I, I wear know. hats to please him. Yeah. Look, I, I, she's I know. She's an amazing cook. She's a banging cook. That's right. A lot of other things, too. She's a Renaissance woman, both on and off the stage, and both sitting in the kitchen or laying in bed. By the way, what was the first color television series ever aired in North America? Dinah Shore. No. Ed Sullivan. Pardon? Ed Sullivan. No. What? I'll give you a hint. Oh, oh uh, Robin Hood. Yes. You say, America is asking you to call. Yeah. By the way, yeah. you may not know this. You may, you may not know this. I probably do. But you know me. how big the Ed Sullivan show was? No. You don't? I don't. It was, every, with the country would stop oh. on Sunday Did night. Did everybody have TVs at that time? Yeah. Because we were the Sullivan. first ones in San Bruno that I knew of. I'm sure there were other people that I knew of who had a TV. But that was in 2010. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where was I? That's oh, a funny joke. Okay. That's a new okay. one. Thank you. Uh -huh. So what you maybe don't know. I don't know. About the Ed Sullivan Show. I don't know it. I was on the Ed Sullivan Show. You were? I were. How old are you? I was. <laughs> I, were. Uh, I was. Uh, I was in my 20s. Doing what? Well, the Tap show, dancing? I was living in Toronto then. Yeah. And the Ed Sullivan show uh, originated in Toronto for that one show uh -huh. because of Wayne and Schuster. It was a, com a Canadian comedy team that was on the show all the time. Mm -hmm. And they were looking for a guy to say, it's the Ed Sullivan show from and that was you? That was me. With your great voice. That was me. First, first time he ever called me, uh, I picked up the phone. He said, say it now. Well, you didn't pick up the phone. Bruce did. Okay, but when I got on, what'd you say? Hello there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he used his best radio voice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Your yep. voice is. Hey, can you hold the ageless serum up to the camera? A few people are asking. And then we're going to go on to the next item. Ageless serum. Ageless serum. There it is. You'll notice um, our products are starting to get shrink wrapped. Yeah, what's um, that about? Uh, it just helps them to stay intact in mm. the shipping process mm, better. Mm, mm. Some people have been asking for that as well, so. Now you've got it. It's shrink wrapped. Okay, so so far in the surprise box, got your scrunchie, you've got your ageless serum, and your surprise lipstick. This lipstick is so great. I have it on right now. Isn't that a beautiful color? Yeah. And all our colors are beautiful, so your color will be a surprise. But you know what's great about this besides everything else that's great? There's no lead in it. And I use it to soften my lips when I put color on. If I put the pencil on the outside, I just miss my mouth. I get eye teeth. And I love this lipstick. What is this one? What color is that? This is caramelized peach, which I love. Mm. Okay, so that surprise lipstick's in there, and then... And, and you guys may get one of the other colors. The color you get will be a surprise. You'll like it. Whatever it is, you'll like it. Butter, yeah. avocado butter, and Suzanne uses minerals for coloring, so it's all <laughs> no artificial colors, no lead, um, and super moisturizing. It's beautiful lipsticks. It's beautiful lipsticks. And lipstick. They are beautiful lipsticks, and this is a beautiful lipstick. There's Alan. That's the correct. That is the correct. Yeah. Plural form there. Yeah. There you go, Al. Mm. You like doing that, don't you? Well, I just want to attract the attention so that people will see the beautiful color that you it is. You do things that I would never think of, but that's who you are. Okay, and finally. I wanted to be Vanna White all my life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my only opportunity. And I got fired when I was Vanna White. That's what I did for a living. I well, got you've fired. Got, you, got, you got fired a lot. Yeah, I did. You Let did. me just get through this last one. But item. you know what? It always worked out better. Yeah, it did. Yeah. This is the Lip Wrinkle Cream. 
even if you don't smoke, and I've never smoked a cigarette in my life, you get these little lines as you get older. Just get in the habit of, of when you do your routine, just patting in the lip wrinkle, wrinkle cream, put it on your lips. It's going to make a big difference. It's got advanced biomimetic peptides and hyaluronic acid. Those are the two big buzzes, and I'll, I'll even read you what biomimetic peptides are. And, and if there are young people who are interested, uh, <clears throat> you use it and it'll give you wrinkles. Hmm? What? Yeah. That wasn't me who said that. No. Okay. That wasn't me. That was that other guy that, that was That was somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was just reading about advanced biomimetic peptides. It's all about reducing wrinkles, making your wrinkles look better. Uh, it, 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 these are great products. You're going to get this in your surprise box. Sam has that organic wine cellar in there too, which it helps to plump the skin around the lip area. Right. You can also use that lip wrinkle cream on your puppet lines. And it's a plumper, so it helps to puppet is here. plump up the skin, which helps you decrease the appearance of wrinkles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ray Nellop said, Hi, my name is Ray Nell. And I'm the one who said Tony Martin sang at my wedding. Oh, okay. yeah. Tony Martin was a cousin of mine. I know. And, and it's he was weird. married to someone famous, wasn't he? Sid Charisse. Sid Charisse. Beautiful wow. French dancer who went to class every day until she passed. I mean, mm. she passed at a late age. How um, great to have a career where you have to exercise every day. Yeah. Because you can get so lazy in life. Well, she didn't have to. I mean, I, she wasn't. Dead. She wasn't performing. I don't think. Uh, but I think when you're a dancer, you dance. Yeah. 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 Well, apparently they they shot pictures of her when she was uh, quite old and uh, wearing something skimpy, and she looked incredible. Not great. And that she was, was unbelievably beautiful dancer. And yeah. that was your so cousin. Tony Martin was my wife, cousin. But the wife is still your cousin. So yeah, exactly. Therese was your cousin. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. We watched him. Um, I just want to pop back to because you just finished this lineup and people are asking what the deal is today. Okay. Um, Suzanne Select, you guys, is always forty nine ninety nine. dollars um, When you sign up for Suzanne's subscription program, it's always forty nine ninety nine, And you can sign up to get it once every month or every two months or every three months. It's totally up to you. You can pause your subscription. You can cancel your subscription. Or you can add a box if you want. We make it really easy to access your account. Um, and you can handle it yourself. And we have customer service representatives who can do it for you if you're... Um, not as technically savvy. But this box today is worth almost $140 and it's only forty nine ninety nine. So it's and look what you get. Off, and it's only available at Suzanne Summers. Look what you get and then you have the fun of the surprise. I swear, I swear, if this is your first time ordering, what in a few days this will show up at your house and you'll go, Oh, oh. And I know you paid for it, but it doesn't matter. It's just that these fun things come in in the mail, but also we put in things that you might not think about um, ordering and to try it out. Like try out the lipstick and try out the targeted lip cream. And it's tar Our body makes hydro hy hyaluronic acid, but by age 50, it starts decreasing like everything else. So this is putting back what nature once gave you and it targets those wrinkles. And like she said, put it in your puppet lines, put it under here if you're thinking about it, although you have your little pot of apple stem cell anti-aging eye cream. We don't call it apple stem cell. I always get mixed up with <laughs> the Alpine and the Alps. <clears throat> anyway. Those are the same things. You, you get confused. We have apple stem cells and we have Alpine rose stem cells. That's right. But in the, in the little uh, uh, eye cream, that's Alpine rose, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. That's why I got And sometimes apple stem cells. And sometimes, they, sometimes they use both, sometimes they use one. Okay, all right. So I'm right kind of both times. But um, exactly. all I know is it really works. And um, I, put it, I put the eye cream, which is not here. That's a great eye cream here. It... it um, can we say takes away? Because we're allowed to say it or supports. Reduces the appearance. Uh, okay, Helps improves the appearance, the appearance of, of um, fat bags and dark circles. And I see a lot of people with fat bags and dark circles. And um, 
I, our eye cream is uh, just incredible. And no chemicals. What else? Pardon? I saw you just moving to a question. No, uh, no, actually, I was just reading some comments here. Read them. Yeah, well, yeah, today, you guys, the, our biggest discount of the day uh, uh, ever is almost always Suzanne Selects. 64% off. These are all full size products. And, you know, we often like add new things and we debut them in the Suzanne Selects, which also is fun because then you're the first one to get to try one of Suzanne's new products. Well, you will really enjoy getting the Suzanne Selects box. And you will really enjoy your dinner tonight, Alan. I know. So I'll enjoy my Suzanne Selects box, too. <laughs> I look forward to that every month. Because I'm going to find product in there that you prevent me from even seeing, let alone using. Even though, you know, I'm, I'm a, an executive with this company. Okay? You know what I noticed being in Malibu this summer, which I, I realize how much I miss it there. And I'd like you to buy us a house there again. Um, all the food we ate, all of it was very healthy and organic yep. and beautifully presented. It's a younger crowd there. And they. Uh, what I like about the younger crowd is they take food seriously. And you can get green juice and avocado toast and all these things that are of the millenniums, order them. But it's really good, really, really good. So even though we were gone for three days, I didn't gain any weight on this trip. I think the only thing at the party, Sunday night, they had the croquembouche, which is that uh, cream puff cake. I had a couple of those. That was worth it. By the way, uh, 78 Georgetown wants to start saying, how much is shipping to Canada? I don't know the answer. It's more than shipping in the States. However, because we provide you with such an incredible discount, like today's select, yeah, that's 64% six, off. 64% off. That's incredible. So it, since we provide you with great discounts all the time, because we don't have a middle person, huh? I was being very <laughs> middle person rather than a middle person middle person rather than middle man <laughs> when you think of a middle person it sounds like a little guy right yeah, yeah he's a middle person yeah okay. and not very important and since we don't have one of those we can provide you with great discounts yeah which we love doing yeah spreading the message of organics and purity and health and beauty you can be pure healthy and beauty all at the same time you can you can. Well done, Alan. Well, well thank you. Wow. Thank you. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I you know I I use I don't use all the products, um, but I use a lot of them, and I know it it it's great for me. I look at myself and I look at some of my buddies, and uh, even though you know we're all you know knocking on the final door. Not you. Not me. Um. My skin looks better because I've been, you know, using it does. especially the liquid oxygen and the uh, the moisturizers. And today, and he's not like uh, he just grabs what's there. All he has in front of him are all of our organic. Food. So he just grabs whatever's in front and puts it on. But it all works on you, and your skin is so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's thank interesting you. for me, even you know, obviously we have access to all of these products. But you have so many incredible products. I know. I forget. I switch so, around. You know, when my when my Selects box arrived, I was like, oh my God, I need this wrinkle cream. Yeah. You know, when I saw that I today too. I new little wrinkles right in my top lip. I'm yeah. looking at them going, that's kind of, that's like there now. It's not coming and yeah. going. Like, it's actually Welcome to our world. <laughs> <laughs> but I no, saw you I Sunday night. Happen. I didn't notice it. I didn't notice okay, it. Okay, well, good. But I, when I opened the box today, too, and I saw the lip wrinkle, lip wrinkle cream, and I went, oh, right, I forgot about that because we have so many products. And I get on different tangents. Like a couple of weeks ago, I was really into the resurfacing cream. That's kind of incredible. And then yeah, it it's so dry here. I wanted to put the liquid oxygen and the bioactive moisturizer and the healthy glow and all those things softening, softening. But um, neither, neither of us are terribly wrinkled for our ages, I don't think, Alan. So. What? Rosina so what? Nastasi Workington. Okay. Do you have to pay duty going into Canada? And the answer is no, 
because all these products that we uh, are marketing are made in the United States and there's a trade agreement amongst Mexico, Canada, oh, yeah, and the right. United States. Right. So the answer is no, no right. duty. And if they try to charge you, charge you duty, go get a gun. Well, not get a gun. <laughs> yeah, no, just get a water, yeah, a gun. water gun. A water gun. Yeah, let them have it. Mm. But no duty. Yeah. I can tell you a bad duty story, but no, I, won't, don't. I won't do that. Don't. don't. I won't do that. Because no. you state in front that it's bad. Imagine yep. how bad it is, because you're a bad boy. I know. But you're a good guy. I'm your bad boy. Yeah, you're a bad boy who's a good guy. You like that, but you've always chosen bad boys. Well, you're the only one I chose. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm not lying. Um, there are we, there are taxes though, Alan, in Canada. Well, there may be taxes, but there's it's sales there's, tax. It's there's, not duty, but there is there is Canadian sales tax. Yeah. That's okay, but you expect to pay. You expect to pay sales tax. Mm -hmm. but Jason was just clarifying. Just so yeah. That. Thank you, Jason. Why do you think Leslie gave you a brain for your birthday? Maybe she thinks I need one. Man, am uh -huh. I fascinated looking inside the human body? I would have really enjoyed being a doctor, but in a way, I am. So if you're wondering what our pillow talk is like. <laughs> There's his brain. There's your brain. There's um, Greer. Whoops. Um, well, I had my brain looked at. You, you did. Know. You did. Because I was thinking, we do a lot of testing from the neck down, but I didn't know what was happening from the neck up. So, uh, Dr. Gallitzer, our energy and anti-aging doctor in LA, Los Angeles, great doctor. He recommended this uh, integrative neurologist. Yeah, I'm and, going to him the week that we're. Going yeah, we to met. Him. We met with him, and one of the things that he did was they had they have this machine, or he's associated with this company that has one, and it's like a scan machine but on steroids. <laughs> And it's unfortunately it's not covered by insurance. And it's and it's and we both went to do it, but um, I watched him. It's forty five minutes long, and he lays on a table like an MRI table. It's already I'm freaked out, and then his head goes in a, a like a cone, and that freaks me out even more. And then the noise starts. It was the noise. It was the noise that bothered me. It never stopped. Yeah. And so when forty five minutes later, when he came out, and I said, so he goes. And it, oh. Okay, but yeah, but you got good, great results, and I wish good, I could do no, it. No, the good news is one of the first things he said to me. He was showing oh, the is brain great. is like yeah. sliced into I don't know a thousand pieces, and he analyzed it. And we did a Zoom call. It was fascinating. I wish I could have recorded that. And he said, "You have no indication for Alzheimer's." Not wonderful to know. Don't we all want to know that? Yeah, Alzheimer's starts in the brain very early, even before you know that it's happening. And it I'm up. hoping I can get past my claustrophobic fear and take it. But well, you know, maybe you should have a. Couple I've aborted of, MRIs three different times. No, but we talked to them about you having like a a what do they call those pills that relax you? Um, a Valium. Yeah, uh, beforehand, and he said it'll change your brain. Yeah. So you can't do it. So you can't do it. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 So that was the bummer. So I had to go in with full freaked out. And I just I couldn't do it. I don't know why. When, if you just keep your eyes closed and think, I think, well, I keep my eyes closed and I think about being on a beach. I have monkey brain. Well, then think about being with monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get distracted. Actually, remember the monkey? Remember when I hosted the Tonight Show, and um, right. I brought out the monkey. Where did I get the monkey? I think the monkey had been on step by step with me all week, and the monkey loved me. So I'm all dressed up and in this outfit that Leslie had designed for me, and I did a number called New Attitude, and it had a hat which Alan loved. And so when I came out to do the monologue, I held the monkey. 
Well, the monkey just wanted to get in my shirt and nurse. Remember? <laughs> remember I'm holding, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm talking to the audience and I'm kind of discreetly trying to pull the monkey away. And I finally said, honey, the well is dry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you've had, a, you've had two monkey experiences. Where's the other monkey? When Michael Jackson called and asked you oh, to be yeah. on Liberian Girl, his, yeah. vi his, um, his video, music what video. What was the name of his monkey? I, I had the privilege. The Bubbles. But I, I carry Bubbles. It was you and Bubbles. In the Michael Jackson Bubbles video. kept laughing at you, and I thought, she hasn't said anything. Okay. So Bubbles was probably <laughs> tossed away. probably laugh. high. <laughs> yeah, when you're with a beautiful blonde woman, just laugh your ass off. <laughs> Michael Jackson was the sweetest person in the business. Just so shy, so shy, and but really, really sweet. But when, when we did the video with Bubbles, he, he kind of hid up in the booth and didn't come down. And there were so many people in that um, video that we did. I can't remember, but everybody was really famous. I can't remember. Well, there was uh, Clark Gable. No, there wasn't. No, there wasn't. No. He was dead and gone. Okay. We watched the, you might see it right now on Netflix, we watched the Marilyn Monroe Mysteries last night, the Mystery of Marilyn Monroe. Wow, was she beautiful. Yeah. I, growing up, I love Marilyn Monroe and I love Betty Grable. That's no wonder I turned out the way I did. Those are like my who I idolized. I was looking at her last night. I said, I, I get why she during during her tenure was the most famous woman in the world. And what John Houston said was, she, she will be the most famous woman from show business forever. Forever. Yeah. There's never been anybody who's uh, come close to Marilyn Monroe in her uniqueness. Well, she died at 36. 36. So we never saw anything bad about her, but she she was a, a girl woman. It was a little girl yeah. trapped in um, her body. And what I found was interesting was that she came from abuse, terrible abuse, and foster homes and um, uh, treated badly and... and um, sexually molested and so um, it's very interesting I, I, I won't tell you more because it wouldn't be fair of me because I usually give away the ends of things but there's there's an interesting end to her story that most of us didn't know about that was kind of shocking now you'll watch one well, I'm really proud of you for, for not saying no that. I learned I remember very mature of you. when Bruce got so mad at me for giving away the key moment in Rain Man I'm never doing it again well, actually, um, knowing that it pissed them off, you should do it again. <laughs> no, I don't like to piss um, off Bruce. Hey, you guys, uh, by the way, if you are new to Suzanne Selects, um, this is the May Suzanne Selects box. The ageless serum that Suzanne has in front of her is, this is Suzanne's marquee product for in her skincare line. Um, on its own, that ageless serum is forty four ninety nine. That's the retail value of that product. Today, and every time you get a Suzanne Selects box, it's forty nine ninety nine. So today, you get all four products that you see in front of you. The retail value is almost $140, and you get it home for $50. Bucks. Um, so it's 60%, 64% off today. You get that ageless serum, which helps you target the fine lines and wrinkles. It helps bring the spring back to your skin. It's super rejuvenating. It's loaded with sea algae and um, African birch, and it's a beautiful product. You also get one of Suzanne's amazing lipsticks. They're organic. It's lead-free, no artificial colors. It's made with shea butter and avocado butter and coconut mm -hmm. butter, so it's really smooth and beautiful, and you get great color. She uses color from like oranges and raspberries and cranberries and things that come from nature. And you also get her amazing lip wrinkle cream, which is a specifically designed cream to use around your mouth to help target those little feathery lines that you get around your lips and also your puppet lines. It has organic um, wrinkle filler in it. So it's like a line filler that helps plump up the skin and biomimetic peptides that support the skin's structure. It is a fabulous, fabulous box. Um, and hyaluronic and acid. Up, and hyaluronic acid. You sign up for this, you get it once a month, or you can get it every two months or three months. Or maybe you just want to sign up and get today's box. Then you can cancel it, and then you only have to get it once. You do have to sign up for the subscription, but you can cancel it after your first one. So hope you jump in. It's our biggest discount. I remember 
I remember. I remember when I first moved to Los Angeles, Alan was partners with Dick Clark. Remember Dick Clark? So I'll, another one. I'll miss Dick Clark till the day I die, and I will miss Merv Griffin till the day I die. So fortunate to be friends with them. And you, you and Dick were great partners. And his then girlfriend, a now wife of what, 50 years or more, um, was going to a facialist from, I think she was from Poland, Annie Steinbach. And she made all her own uh, uh, cosmetics. And she gave you a facial in the back room of her house. And she would make creams and things out of coconuts and, and cucumbers and strawberries. And you looked like a fruit salad when she was doing it. But boy, when you finished, you looked great. And, and, and that's when we, we started doing our lipsticks. I said, um, what do you what can you do the colors and she said well how about raspberries and uh, pomegranate and blackberries and you know we'd squeeze the color from the fruit in nature and Dr. Russell Blaylock who I understand watches this show from time to time he sent me a nice letter the other day uh, he says that when we eat to, to uh, be oh, cognizant of all the different colors on your plate because it's all flavonoids from the different fruits and vegetables. And um, he taught me so much. And he's written a new book, and he said he's going to send it to me, but I haven't gotten it yet. But anyway, if you're watching Dr. Blay, like I love that you watch me, and um, I agree with you on the letter that you sent me. I think you're right on, and as always, ahead of the game and so astute. He's one of the smartest doctors in the world. I put him up there with several others that I write about. One of the lucky things that I have going for me is I've established a reputation with doctors, scientists, and professionals. Me. and but Because in my books, nothing has ever been challenged. People like to make fun of me, like who does she think she is? She thinks she's a doctor. But that's not, that's not taking on any of the information. Nobody has ever taken on the information in my books. And the reason is that the doctors I interview, I give them complete approval over their pieces. So I never put it out there and they go, I didn't say that, I didn't mean that, no. By the time it goes to print, I've been back and forth with them so many times and it's exactly right. And then I, on top of that, have every piece in every page of my book gone over by our scientific advisory board of doctors, scientists, and professionals, 26 of them. And so that's why I've never been challenged. So if you read it in my book, it's true, and, it's, and, and you, can, you can trust it. But I've interviewed Dr. Blaylock many times, Dr. Sinatra. You want to know about your heart? You want to know how to work with your heart not only uh, allopathically, but integratively and alternatively. He goes integrative and alternative first, and then allopathic. And I learned so much this year, having been injured. I was always all alternative, all, all, all natural all the time. When you need uh, allopathic, which is uh, pharmaceutical medicine, uh, it's a godsend. And I had a conversation with God, and he said, I gave these people these brains to come up with something great. And I thought, yes, how arrogant of me to think I don't want that part of science. So we're in a real good time uh, in our um, medical awareness right now because we do the best of both. That's called integrative medicine. But if you want to know where to start, uh, let's forget that I, that I have anything to do with these products. Start with our organic products. It, it's so great. They, what you put on your skin, what you eat, what you breathe, has an impact on your health. And I, I believe that the reason that I um, recovered so, so superbly from this terrible accident I had was because my body was already in good shape. I've been feeding it right. Think of your body as a Maserati, and I've used this expression a lot, but you'd never put inferior fuel into a Maserati. You spend a lot of money on it. It's a really great machine. Well, this is the greatest machine uh, ever, ever created. We were created by God to be perfect. And so feed it right. Care for it. Take care of it. Sleep it right. Think it right. If you're, if you're caught up in negatives, it only hurts you. If you can't forgive somebody for... Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, you are the loser. And um, I always say forgiveness, forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. 
when you forgive, it may, like with my, let's take my dad, for instance. If I never forgave him, then his, him and his disease would have won. But when I forgave him and I saw uh, the trauma of his life of going through all this and that he acted out with rage, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? And it was very easy for me to forgive him after that. But it took, it took a while in therapy. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. And you win that way. That way you are never the victim. Well, how about if there are people you can't forgive? I, and why would you forgive them if they were so awful? Think of the worst person. I can. Okay. The little, the little horn at the end of your, <laughs> of your question is right. like, right. That's him. how are you going to answer that one? Right. <laughs> because I believe even the worst person that was ever a uh, part of the human yeah, but race. I, but I, I don't want to give them the pleasure of knowing I should No. Be, even though they're, they're Becoming dead. different. What, what you do doesn't affect me because I know who I am. Be, become indifferent. Right. That is a great way to succeed in somebody who's hurt you or hurt you badly. You just, uh, if you stay mad, but they, who, they, who, who, but, who wins if you stay mad? Well, I don't not say mad. I just, no, I don't say mad. I just don't forgive them. I don't think about them. They're not in yeah, my that's consciousness. That's like your Auntie Gertie and your mother. Yeah. That was stupid. Well, that was, but they loved each other. They just no. They never talked to each other again. Right. And did did they go to one another's funerals? Well, well uh, Gertie Gertie went to my mother's funeral. <laughs> right, right. But she was still harumphing. It was all about a wooden egg. That it wasn't a wooden. It was ivory. An ivory egg that belonged to uh, Alan's mother's mother, and had some carvings on it. So when Alan got, Alan's mother got married, her father gave her the ivory egg. Well, at some point... Um, he also gave her a frying pan. He gave her a frying pan. Two great things. So at one point, Alan's mother's brother got very ill in the hospital in, what, Detroit or something? <laughs> I can't believe you're going to tell this whole story. Well, I'm just trying to tell the story of the egg and forgiveness. Okay, it was in Tonawanda, which is okay. outside of Buffalo. Okay, so when he died... Um, somehow Margaret's sister, Alan's mother's sister, got the egg. And Margaret, my mother-in-law, said, can I have my egg back? She's not your egg, it's my egg. Well, that's how it started. And they never got over it. And pretty even soon... Though, even though my mother produced a letter from their it father... It didn't matter. The, talking was about... Not gonna, it was her egg well, now. Because they and, had... they, and, and we used to use it as an euphem euphemism. Yeah. I'd say, what, are you going to argue about the egg? Uh, it became like a Yeah, but those, those people, that family, they were s stubborn people. Once yeah, and they so are you. You're the one who just said, I'm not, I, I don't care, I'm just not going to forgive them. No, I don't even get forgiving people. Hey, I just don't think guys, about it. I know them. we're having a super philosophical conversation yeah. right now, and it's beautiful, and I love it. But I need to interject about the scrunchie. Oh. <laughs> a scrunchie. Hold up the scrunchie, Alan. Okay. Yes, you guys, scrunchies were super popular in the 80s. It's not something that you have to wear out. This is the most perfect thing to wash your face with. Because you pull your hair back in your scrunchie, and it doesn't yeah. give you a bump in your hair. Yeah. So it's a great thing to pull your hair back when you're... Washing. I'm surprised you don't wear the scrunchie, Alan. You don't have enough hair now, but... Like, usually you find something to do with scrunchies. I have you in the middle of the scrunchie. And it's like, it's yeah. cute leopard print. Yeah. It's so cute. <gasps> oh, it's leopard. Oh, what a surprise. It's a leopard scrunchie. Yeah. And don't forget the lead-free lipstick. Let me tell you why that matters. This has no lead in it. And I'm really proud of that because all these years we've been doing lipstick and licking our lips and we get lead. From our lipstick because it's got lead in it. Well, why does that matter? The brain doesn't know what to do with lead, and it says to itself, "I, I, I'm, I wasn't designed to handle lead. Well, you know what I could do for you? I'll store it in your bones, and so it stores all the lead in the bones, and that's all well and good until you break something. And usually, it's when you get older. You break a hip or you break something." Well, then the lead that's in the bone gets released into the bloodstream, and the lead goes, oh, now I want to go to the brain. It goes up to the brain. 
and lead in the brain can lead to very bad um, neural disorders. You want, to, you want to protect your brain. If that's the only reason to wear this beautiful lipstick, that's an important reason. You won't see many lipsticks in uh, drugstores or anything bragging about the fact that this is lead free. We brag about it because I think it's an, an important aspect of this. I, I, I am cognizant of everything that I put on and in my body because I want my brain. I have a good brain and I don't want some stupid chemical. That, you know, the, when chemicals come in, I've said this a million times, but they, they eat through the barrier wall, your GI tract, they get into your bloodstream, and they go on a rampage looking for their favorite organ or gland, their favorite is the brain, so it makes its way up to the brain, and the brain has to shrink to make room for the chemicals. The more chemicals get up there, the more you know non-organic food you eat, and non-organic uh, skin care, hair care, uh, color cosmetics, lipstick, etc. The brain, the pituitary, and the pineal shrinks. How about the hippocampus? Yeah, but the, yeah, and yeah, it's more complicated than that. So it shrinks over here. Just a moment. What do you mean it's more complicated than that? I can the, tell the, you're blowing me off. No, I am because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's more complicated than <laughs> it that. Is. Why don't you read my books? <laughs> <laughs> I am. They're great. Your books are great. No, the hippocampus... No, the hypothalamus and yeah. the pituitary are essentially what we refer to as the brain. The hippocampus... The hippocampus is a part of the brain. There are many, many parts of the brain, but the hypothalamus... Isn't that the memory stick? It all is. Okay. It all is. And so, the more chemicals that get in your brain, the more the actual brain itself has to move out of the way. More chemicals move out of the way. More chemicals move out of the way. And pretty soon, there's no room for your brain to work at optimum. And then you're in trouble. And uh, we all know somebody with brain issues... I'm just saying the best place to start to save your brain is organic cosmetics, organic uh, makeup, organic skin care, hair care, household cleaning products. It makes such a difference and you know maybe it could be life saving, maybe. I, I believe that relative to myself and I've been feeding my husband and I yep. take great care of him. You betcha. I value you and I yep. take great care of you and you do look great. You look better than most of your friends. And did you, oh, I wish I could show him dancing the other night. Was he a cool dancer, Caroline? Oh, so great. And, um, yeah, you have a cool way of dancing. Well, you know, I've been a good dancer all my life. I know, but, yeah. I know. And I studied at the uh, Strasbourg Dance Academy in New York. This is Al Vine. And... Um, I, I was going to be a full-time dancer. This is Al Lyne. But I couldn't fit into the uh, trapeze shorts. That's Al Lyne. And, but I've always appreciated dancers. That's true. But, you know, dancers, uh, when they get to be, when, when dancers who dance in sort of, not, I'm not talking about classical ballet dancers, but other dancers, when they get into their 30s, unfortunately, the people casting those things think they're kind of old to be in this video. Think about it. Okay, someone who well, it's like athletes. Yeah. They're talking about Tom Brady and it's amazing in his age. And what is he, 46 or but something? But he said, just say, he signed, he signed he signed. Just I mean, be I remember being 46. I wasn't in, ever, anywhere near thinking of retiring. So athletes, dancers, anything that depends on having a super fit body has a limited time. Come over and show them how cute you are. Hookers. You're a golfer, man. Golfers. Yeah, they can go on forever. I see them out here. You're probably watching them behind me. They golf and golf and golf and golf. And then when you golf, they mow the lawn and mow the lawn and mow the lawn. Thank God for nasal renew because we're sneezing all the time. I wake up and take nasal renew. I go to bed, I take nasal renew. You take nasal renew. When I go to bed, I take Suzanne. It's 5 o'clock. It is? Yeah, we're going to wrap up the You guys show. are fun. I'll, wow. I'll be doing the after show on Facebook from about 5 to 5.30, depending on how many questions there are, and then I'll be 
on Instagram from 5.30 to 6. So if you have any other questions about products or anything that Suzanne sells, happy to answer those one-on-one for you during that next time. Well, I certainly have questions. Call call Caroline and ask okay. her. Yeah. Yeah. The answer girl. Okay. Okay. Well... <laughs> I love that it goes so fast. I just feel like I've had a cocktail with all of you, which I guess I did. Well, you did? I had a little bit of one. And um, remember. Oh, I have to go hold it. I have to go back to my job. Wait. <laughs> I love him. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. It's not who you are. It's not what you do. It's not what you have. It's only about who you love and who loves you. And I love you. Good night, everybody.